What's up guys, it's your boy Suicidal Sesh here and today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to install Black Ops 2 custom camos. I've had a couple of people ask me about this and this is for you fuck boys that don't know how to do it. So basically we'll first start off with locating where the Black Ops 2 folder is. So how you do this is you can go on, you just open a folder, well, I'll just go on a random folder, let me whip it over, this is my zombies folder. Um, so you go to your Windows or whatever your drive is, your hard drive, program files x86, it might be a bit different for you. Uh, go down to Steam and then Steam Apps, Common, and then your BO2 LAN folder. You can install your BO2 LAN wherever it is, but for me it's in BO2 LAN and not in the actual Black Ops 2 folder itself. Doesn't matter anyway. Um, but yeah, anyway, you go into your BO2 LAN folder and uh, you'll see all this juicy stuff. So the camos are, loca are located in uh, the data folder over here. You go into images and then it'll be filled with a bunch of these images. It won't be these images for, for you, it'll be different. It'll mainly be full of these like IWI files that you don't really need, but you just keep them in there just so the game works. So how you actually first install a camo, it's very, very simple. Um, let's just do let's just do this one here. This <laughs> this uh, this swastika. Okay, so this this camo right here um, is the sheriff sign on buried, and uh, you got to make sure that when you install a camo on BO2 that it's a .png file and that you have the right file name. So exactly like BO1 in my BO1 tutorial, which I'll link down below. Um, it, instead of using, I think it's uh, DDS files on BO1. Um, instead of using them, you um, you use a PNG file. So let's say we want to edit this camo, and uh, the way I found this camo as well, which I'll ex well I'll explain now for you, but is um, I found this camo by using Tom iPack. Um, let me just show you this real quick. This is only if you want to create camos. I, in the description down below, I will be linking my own little camo pack for you to look through and add stuff. It won't have a whole lot of stuff as I haven't really explored bo2 camos yet but it will have simple stuff like a sliquifier camo the pack punch camo on like town and um and like blunder gas acid gas sort of camos like that and just some other random stuff like the floor on town just so you guys know so anyway um we'll move on now to the ipack which i said i'll also be linking uh the bo2 scripts and talking about bo2 scripts in this um which help with redacted making it like the console version and also for a full bank on redacted which yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, me just casually going off topic. I'm doing this in one take because I just can't be asked to like just do a bunch of editing on this. So just sort of bear with me on this. Um, okay, so it should be in my Black Ops modding folder, of course. So this is uh, my Tom iPack sort of file. And um, how you use this, I will link this in the description, the actual website where I got this off, if you do want to learn about cu making custom camos. So we'll do that now. I'll keep that just there. Um, so what you need to do is go back to your folder on Black Ops, which I showed before. Uh, Steam Apps, Common, Black Ops 2 LAN, Data, uh, well not Data, you go on to, so when you're here you go on to Zone and then go on to All and then basically you have all these files here. You want to look for the IPAC files, so let's just take for instance um let's have a look so we've got let me go up a little bit more you need to be looking for d there it is dlc zm0 dlc zm uh one so these are all the dlc files for black ops 2 zombies so if we do this one here dlc1 which i think is diarize i might be wrong about that but yeah just get oh, fuck's sake if you could just get this one and you drag it onto the application for the Black Ops 2 IPAC folder here, it will open up and it will start processing your request. Once it's reached 100%, you can close this little window and then it goes to your an exported folder. You don't have to make an exported folder, it will just appear in the Tom IPAC file where you installed it. And in here you can see all of the custom camos which you can use um, to change on zombies. Um, so yes, basically... We'll, we'll just do a quick test and yeah it is diarize um <laughs> now i'm trying to think what camo i can change because oh there we go the tv test yeah we 
Um, no, 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 because that could be on a different side of the map. Um, okay, okay, okay. I just going into blood of the dead, uh, mob of the dead. Jesus Christ! Why did I say blood? That's dis disappointing. I need a map that I can simply just see really easily. Okay. Well, anyway, you get the gist. Um, so anyway, that's how I found this this buried sheriff sign. You go in here, you find a cam, uh, find like a camera that you want to change, uh, a texture you want to change, and it will be a DDS file. Once you've done that. Um, you can just take that file out, so just say, oh yeah, I want to edit this one. I tend to put them on my desktop, it makes it a lot easier, but we'll say that I've we'll, we'll say that I've actually just removed this from the game. And um, yeah, we'll say that this is a DDS file, even though it's PNG. But anyway, once you've done that, you need to open the file in Photoshop, or any other sort of editing, photo editing software should work exactly the same. But uh, you broke boys that don't have Photoshop, we'll have to figure that out. So we say that the buried sheriff sign, um, I'm just going to go on open and just get a random image from my backgrounds folder in my downloads. Say on my buried sign I want to put Michael Jackson, because you know, why the fuck not? You just simply drag and drop Michael Jackson on there, it's, gonna, it's just going to be really quick, don't really care. Uh, there we go, MJ's looking sexy. And I go to file, save as, and then you need to make sure to save it as a PNG. This is, this is key or else your file will not work. And um, so yeah, once you save it as PNG, click save. Obviously my files exist already because it's a P PNG, but obviously because the, it will be a DDS file, it will just save as a separate file. So just you can delete the, the a DDS file off of your desktop after it's done. Okay, that's saved. And as we can see here on the desktop, we have Michael Jackson. So we'll go back to the zombies folder in images and you can just drag and drop it in. There we go, simple as anything. What I like to do as well after I've done that is just refresh that. I don't know if it does anything, but it seems to just add it into where it should be on the file here. Okay, so let's uh, load BO2 now and I'll show you that that is in the game. But yeah, you can really just go all out with camos on this game and customize everything. But I have found that when you install a camo and it does, it like I, what I did before is I completely destroyed my buried and um, I, in, I installed like loads of camos and it kind of overrided the system and it, it broke my game. If that does happen, um, try and make a new BO2 LAN folder and um, drag and drop your Steam BO2 once you've uh, verified the integrity of the files if you are getting the unhandled exception error when you open the redacted. So anyway, we'll... we'll Load this uh, cutscene. But yeah, if you do have any problems with um, the whole unhandled exception thing, just um, just message me and I'll try to help. I'm very lazy with messaging because, um, <laughs> I'm, uh, to be fair, I'm, I'm fairly busy and um, I, you know I can't really be asked to help people in zombies. <laughs> but you know, I'm making this video for you boys. Okay, let's skip this shit. I'm going to play a bit of mouse and keyboard as well. Also, big up TZT, you know, TZD clan. We we out here. Um, okay. And as you can see, there it is. Michael Jackson on the sign of the buried sheriff office. So, yep, there you go. That's how you install a camera on BO2. Very simple. And um, now we'll be discussing how to install scripts. So, scripts are basically... Um, basically just things that work in the game and um, you can run these scripts. These scripts are such as like the 159 trap which fixes what well, the 159 trap fix which can be used on a mob of the dead and also buried which ma basically makes the zombies health have a cap rather than going higher as uh, traps on PC don't kill on the Steam version of the game past 159. Um, I'll be linking all the scripts down below in with the actual camo folder as well. And um, you'll be able to get the bank bank uh, patch on that, which gives you a full bank and also a AN in the fridge. That was for diarized spinning, it's uh, speed running. And uh, you'll also be able to get the redacted 159 patch and the backward speed. So I'll just show you them now. Um, so these are my BO2 scripts. This is what it'll be like when you open it in my texture folder, uh, my uh, you know BO2 folder, which I'll uh, be putting in the description. But we've got bank and we've got diarize. Uh, I won't include the bank one, that's a very default sort of patch. So um, what you'll do with this is you go into data and then you go into scripts. 
I've already got my backward speed in here and my redacted one that fixes the 159 patch thingy. So um, yeah, I guess you install that when you first get your redacted. Um, so yeah, for the diarize thing, just move it in here. It's moved in now and you open your game. Uh, this patch as well was uh, made by Revive Me Please, also known as Alex. Uh, just a big shout out to him. He uh, helped me with a lot of these shitty scripts. He also is the guy that made the 159 patch. If uh, you guys are not aware, I'll, um, I guess I'll link him down below. I'll link his Twitter down below. I don't, I don't, he doesn't really play Zombies anymore, but he still did a massive thing for this community, which saved the PC players. Uh, but yeah, anyway, you just uh, go on any map. We'll say Diarize this time, change it up a little bit. Load a map that has a bank on it, and um, obviously a map that you can get an AN on. And um, yeah, so you just load the game, and then it will pop up saying uh, that, you know, TZT Sesh likes dick in his ass, I think it is. Obviously, you know, because I because I asked Alex to make this for me, I had to have some sort of gay shit in it. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. <sighs> Let this shit load. It's, honestly, it's really simple, this whole, like, scripts thing and this camo thing. It's like, it, it, it's probably more simple than BO1. Well, BO1's simple as it is once you get your head around it. Like, it's not that bad. So, yeah, anyway, I can't move now. It won't let me move because the script's in. And then, yeah, Sesh likes dick in his ass. So, um, yeah, that means that your bank is now full up to the maximum. And you've got an AN in the fridge. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, I'll just quickly uh, close this, force close that. There we go. And then once you've done that, uh, you can just drag and drop the diaries folder out. And uh, it'll go back into your scripts folder or wherever you're keeping it. And uh, then you've just got these two in there. Now your game will start up as normal and you'll be able to play a game. Um, so yeah, I think that's basically it. How to install a custom camo, how to do the scripts on BO2. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll be leaving the links down to the Tom iPack um, website down below so you can download it. And I will also be leaving a link for Revive Me Please and also a link to the actual folder which will contain the scripts, textures, and I guess I can include the iPack in. I haven't actually made this folder yet. I'm just going to do it now because it, it'll take like two seconds. Might as well help you guys out. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye.